Turn on light one. Turning on light one. Turn off light one. Turning off light one. Hey, what is up guys? This is DIY Perfect and in this video I will show you how to make a simple Google Assistant powered home automation at home under 300 rupees. So these are all the components that you will need in your project. So first of all I started interfacing all these electronic components on a piece of cardboard. After placing electronic components on a cardboard, I started soldering the ring according to this circuit diagram. After connecting all the electronic components, our prototype is finally ready. Now let's move towards the programming section of this video. First of all, you have to open Google Chrome and go to the website which is adafruit.io. Then sign up for this website. Now after successfully signing up in the website, go again to adafruit.io. So now this is the interface of this website. For creating the dashboard, click on action button and then click on create a new dashboard. Now here type the name of your dashboard. For example, here I am entering Google Assistant Home Automation and in description you can add any information related to your project. Now click on create option. Now our dashboard is successfully created. Now click here and then click on create a new block option. Then choose a toggle switch. Then here you have to type a feed name. In this case I am typing relay1 as a feed name because we gonna use this same feed name in our code. Then click on the create option. Now the first feed is created. So as we are using a two relay in our project, so I'm creating a second feed, which is relay two. After creating two feed, select the first one and click on next step. Now type the block title name. In this case, I am putting it as relay 1 and here button on text value should be 1 and button off text value should be 0 now click on create block option so now first block is successfully created in the same way create another block for that go in add block option select toggle switch and select second feed and then click on next step now type the block title which is relay2 and button on text value should be 1 and button off text value should be 0. After this click on create block option. Now our two blocks are successfully created. This is the code of the project. So simply you can find this code in the link which is in the description 
Just download it and open with the Arduino IDE software. To upload the code, first of all you need to install the Node MCU board. If you haven't installed the Node MCU board, this code will not work. For that, check the link which is in the description where you will find how to install the Node MCU board in Arduino IDE software. So after installing ESP8266 board, this ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h library will be automatically added. Now to install the MQTT library, go on Chrome and type Adafruit MQTT library master. Then go on GitHub website and download MQTT zip library. Go to sketch and click on include library and add zip library. Then select the MQTT zip library and click on OK. So the library is successfully added. Here type your Wi Fi SSID and password or you can use your hotspot name and its password and remember that the feed name which is relay1 or relay2 should be same everywhere in the code go on adafruit.io website and click on key option so here you will find the username and active key just copy the username and active key in the code After making changes in code, click on compile option. After successful compiling, connect your Node MCU board to your PC and then select the port and select the board which is Node MCU ESP8266. Then click on upload option. Now the code is successfully uploaded. Now let's move towards the next part of the video. Go on Google Chrome and search for IFTT website. So then sign in with the same Gmail that you have used in adafruit.io. So after signing up, this is the interface of this website and then click right here and then click on create option. Click here on if this and then search service Google Assistant. Then click on connect option and then choose the Gmail which you have used until now. Then click on say a simple phrase. Then here type what do you want to say. Here I am using typing turn on light one and in turn the assistant should respond me turning on light one then click on create trigger option now click on that and select the service adafruit now click on connect and here authorize it and then send data to adafruit.io then select the feed name which is relevant and data to save should be 1 as we are using it for switching on the relay then click on create action so now our first applet is successfully created so now create the same applet for switching off relay 1 for that repeat the step and here you can type turn off light 1 and in turn the google assistant should respond turning off light 1 okay. then click on that again and select adafruit then send data to adafruit.io then here select feed name which is relay 1 but data to save should be 0 as we are using it for switching off the relay 1 then click on create action so now our two applets are successfully created so as I am using a 2 relay, so that is why I am creating 2 more applets 
for relay 2 so just repeat the steps but here remember that the feed name should be relay 2 So now our four applets are successfully created. Now it is time to check our project. So in this way you can connect any AC appliance to this relay. To show you I am using a simple bulb which I connected to first relay. So now I will show you how it works. While testing this project just remember to switch on your Wi-Fi or hotspot. Then connect it to the power supply and switch on the device and that's it you are ready to go turn on light one turning on light one turn off light one turning off light one turn on light one Turning on light one. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel.